Okay, we are back. This has fully dried, this light coat of gray that we put on. And in my palette right now, what I'm mixing up is some Payne's Gray and a little of my Thalo Blue Green. New bottles, totally clean. Love that. Uh, I also have, I have my Thalo Blue Green, my Payne's Gray, some Satin Glaze. And that's my liquid glazing medium there. And I'm going to mix that with a little water. I want this to be a very light coat. So I'm just going to mix this up. I want this to be a really pretty intense blue, but I do want it to be a glaze layer. So that's mixed up. I'm going to take a flat brush with a little water on it. And apply that water to my canvas just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to be working in the section here on the bottom more. So it's just a little bit of water on my canvas. Then picking up some of that paint with my flat brush and applying my pretty layer of glue. And more water in my paint. I want to get it nice and fluid. And I'm just using alternating strokes here. I'm not really worried about how perfect it is. I do not mind if some of the gray shows through underneath. It's kind of my intention. now is I'm going to soften this with just a little water for this top section. Kind of carry some of that color up, but I'm just really using what's on my brush right now. Don't worry about adding more because we're going to be going over that. Okay, I'm smoothing this out a little bit. I'm going to go around my edges. Just to make sure I have those covered. I do want those covered. Back and forth. Okay, so as you can tell, I have not laid down a perfectly uniform coat of paint. I've got a little of that gray showing through underneath. And I'm going to just sort of hold my canvas a bit, smudge that out a little, just to kind of give you the idea of what I'm going for here. This is kind of a, a distressed look that we're, we're after on the bottom area. You don't have to do this. You can leave the full-on paint if you prefer that, but um, this is what I've chosen for this painting. So it's just a dry little bit of a damp paper towel, not very much water on it at all. Right after our paint sets just a bit, kind of wipe some of that off just lightly, just so I have the basic color down. And again, I've got some patchy areas and that's perfectly fine if that happens somewhere else on your painting or doesn't happen at all. You can just rub away a little more paint or you can leave it, like I said, 100% uniform in color. 
I'm just, the reason I did that with such a light coat of the paint with the glaze is to get this sort of distressed, sort of uh, just a watermarked look on the bottom of this painting. So I'm going to let this dry very thoroughly and then we're going to come in and add our additional colors. <laughs> 